Video Outs. Video Outs menu's main function is to configure and set up the video output. Click on Setting key to enter the menu. Use the cursor to move to Video Out and enter the selected menu. Two options, Analog and DV Output Mode and SDI Output Mode are available. Here we will go through the two sections and all of its submenus, functions and usage. Let's start with the Analog and DV Output configuration and setup. The first submenu is DV Out Mode. This sets the DV output for different computers, ranging from mode 0 to 3, where mode 1 corresponds to Windows XP platform PCs. Mode 2 corresponds to Windows 2000 platform PCs. And mode 3 corresponds to Apple platform modes. Mode 0 corresponds to cameras and video camera mode. The default is mode 1. In a practical scenario, the output of the SE900 cannot be recorded by with a hard disk recorder, due to the fact that in the MS900, SE900's main output signal is through DV output to hard disk recorder. Therefore, if you face the situation, you can first check the menu setting to see if it is set to mode 1. If it is not so, you need to change it to mode 1 to be able to record. The second menu item is Video Out 7.5 IRE, with variables from 0 to 7.5. As this is only for NTSC systems, we will not be adjusting this. The third menu item is Aspect Ratio. For setup with analog or DV output display as an example, choose between aspect ratios of 4x3 or 16x9. The default setting is 4x3. If the output signal is 16x9 mode, set this item as 16x9. Conversely, if the output signal is categorized as 4x3 mode, then you do not have to adjust this parameter and leave it as the default value. Next, we will introduce the SDI output configuration and setup. The first menu item is Black Burst CV. This sets the output signal on the SDI board to either Black Burst or Composite Video. The second item on the menu aspect ratio chooses between 4x3 or 16x9 for the SDI output display. The default setting is 4x3. If the input signal is 16x9 mode, choose 16x9. Conversely, if you input 4x3 mode, you do not need to change it, and you can continue using its default setting of 4x3. Up till here, Video Out menu's various functions have been introduced. Next, we will get into the details of the local menu.